Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I am Ayuba Ilya. Thank you for joining. Here's the news in brief. Passengers have been assured of their security as the Abuja Kaduna train service resumes operations on Monday. The train departed Idu train station at 9.45 a.m. for Kaduna for the first time in more than 250 days. Passengers expressed joy as operations began, saying that they have waited for so long for the operations to resume. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has launched a manhunt for the arrest of Kano Central Senatorial Candidate under the ruling of Progressives Congress, Abdul Karim Abdusalam Zora. AFCC counsel Ahmad Roga disclosed this on Monday at the resumption of the criminal trial at the Federal High Court sitting in Kano. The scheduled arraignment could not hold because of the absence of the trial judge. The gunmen who were arrested at the MENA residence of Mohammed Sani Musa, the All Progressives Congress Senator representing Niger's East Senatorial District in the National Assembly, have told the police that they were sent to kidnap the lawmaker. Niger State Police Command Public Relations Officer DSP Wasiu Abiodun, who confirmed this in a statement on Monday, said that they ransacked the residence under the pretext of the purported search execution. And away from Nigeria, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's fate could be determined as the Executive Committee of the Governing Party meets to discuss allegations he may have committed misconduct and violated the oath of office. Monday's Executive Committee meeting will discuss inquiries relating to findings that large sums of foreign currency were hidden at Ramaphosa's private game farm and he failed to report the money missing when it was stolen in 2020. And that's a wrap on Trust News Summary. Watch more via all our social media platforms and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Ayuba Ilya. Thanks for watching.